just like that. Oh, he puts it in. One, two, three. He makes it quick and easy. Fantastic goal, really it was. There's a slide through. Oh, he's got a man through a goal here. It's a stunning goal from Ovi. What's going on everyone, my name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 20 tutorial on the channel guys, today we've got a big one, finishing tutorial in FIFA 20, uh, this year indeed we've got the finesse shots which are extremely overpowered but they work only from certain positions on the pitch, overall shooting is balanced, I think it's the most balanced shooting in all FIFA series and in the next couple of minutes we're gonna go through all the possible finishing techniques. Before getting started make sure to smash the like button, let's try and get over 1500 likes. When that happens Ovi will put up a new tutorial on the channel as always. Your support means everything to me. We're gonna start with the most OP technique of them all, the finesse shots. First of all at the far post then at the near post. As you can see this is a perfect angle for a finesse at the far post. As always you've got the live controller in the left bottom corner, it is an incredible addition to the tutorials, uh, you get to see live exactly which buttons I press and in this particular situation I am loading the power bar at the shot button at around 3 bars, in my opinion it is the optimum power for a shot, uh, for a finesse shot from that position. And in combination with R1 on PlayStation 4 controller and RB on your Xbox One controller and aiming as you are seeing at the far post, the result is a beautiful goal. Take into consideration if you are in a more central position then the left analog uh, doesn't move as much down, uh, it goes a bit more direct towards the far post. Next we've got the finesse shots at the near post and these type of shots work from inside the penalty box only but only when the goalkeeper comes a bit to pressure you, goes outside the goal. If the goalkeeper is stationary on the goal line then I would not advise you to go with the finesse shot at the near post, use it only guys when the goalkeeper is rushing a bit towards you. The power for a shot at the near post from this position is around one and a half bars, two and a half bars, again result is uh, beautiful, it is a goal and all I do from the left analog is aim it towards the goal, directly, perpendicularly to the goal line. Moving now to power shots from inside the penalty box, they seem to be very reliable like the finesse shots, uh, but they are a bit more versatile, being able to use the power shot from more angles inside the penalty box. Uh, we've got the uh, power shots at the far post, power shot at the near post. I'm gonna show you the difference between the two and uh, my preference for these two options. In this first example I have Salah in the center of the field, uh, we just entered the penalty box, I could go there uh, with a finesse at the near post, I could go with a power shot at the near post, but why not be smart, watch the positioning of the goalkeeper, it's such a big empty space at the far post, it would be a pity not to try it, again the power is between 2 and 3 bars and um, the direction of my shot I don't shoot directly you know at the goal I move it a bit in a diagonal direction the left analog. Now for power shots at the near post I like to use a right footed player on the left side of the pitch if I have for example a right footed player on the right side of the pitch I'm gonna try and do a power shot at the far post but if I have a right footed player on the left side of the pitch, it is similar to FIFA 19, they were OP back then also, I like to do it at the near post with his right foot. The power is around 2 bars and the direction is directly to the goal, I aim perpendicularly to the goal line. Man, now we've got one of the biggest game changers from FIFA 19 and in FIFA 20, I know 
a lot of people haven't been using this in FIFA 19. You gotta use this. I've used it so much, guys, even when I hit two times in a row 30 and all last year. This skill move is the perfect setup for any type of shot, for any type of pass. The modified standing fake shot. What is the big advantage with this particular skill move? You can turn, guys, anywhere. To the left, to the right, uh, up, down, your player will do a standing fake shot in any direction, with exit in any direction. Imagine, uh, you can uh, run by having and having a bad angle towards the goal. You cannot shoot, but if you do this type of fake shot, you can arrange perfectly the exit. In order to do it, as you are seeing on the screen, guys, you will have to press and hold. RB on your Xbox One controller or R1 on your PlayStation controller and move the left analog in the direction that you want to have the exit. After you've done that, it's pretty easy guys, you do a finesse shot at the far post. The whole idea regarding uh, this type of uh, shot is the fact that uh, the standing modified fake shot offers you or fake pass offers you the opportunity to set up the shot to set up the angle for your shot of course you can't have a finishing tutorial without talking about the chip shot it's not that effective all the time uh, i honestly do not recommend using it in most situations but there are some situations when it works in this scenario right here the goalkeeper is rushing towards my striker. Uh, another important thing is that besides the space that needs to be between the goalkeeper and the goal, there needs to be space between your striker and the goalkeeper in order for the, this chip shot to work. In order to perform it, you'll have to press and hold L1 on your PlayStation controller, LB on your Xbox One and load the shot button. Usually the power should be around two bars. And now let's talk a bit about the setup, about the sweaty goals. Some people call it like that. I like to call it the smart play. I'm here one-on-one -on -one with Neymar. I have, let's say, 90% chances to score a goal. But why not make it 100%? Why, guys? Just pass it towards the empty space for your free player. He's got the space. He's gonna score it 100%. Do not risk missing 1 out of 10 from that position when you can score 10 out of 10. It's important also to be aware of your position on the pitch inside the penalty box. Uh, I'm controlling Henderson here in the opponent's uh, penalty box. I could be crazy and uh, do a shot from there. I could do a finesse at the far post. Maybe I can score. Who knows? 5, 6 out of 10. But I have empty space near Fabinho, if I'm not mistaken, over there. He's all alone. Why not pass the ball to him? And from there on, I can do an easy, easy finish and score 100%. So be aware, guys, of where the player that you are controlling with the ball is positioned. Do not rush into a shot. Be aware of other players, other teammates. Let's talk a bit about the old school driven shot. When the ball goes on the grass like a driven shot but it's not the combination for a driven shot uh, i like to use this when i'm four or five meters away from the goalkeeper uh, when a normal shot that would elevate the ball would be very very dangerous and uh, the goalkeeper might might uh, save it i mean dangerous for me i like just to tap a bit as you are seeing the shot button the result is an old school driven shot, a slow shot that just goes in the goal with no chance for the goalkeeper to save it. New feature guys in FIFA 20, we've got the lofted passes and how do they impact the game besides the fact that uh, they are easier for the receiver to get? Well, they are the perfect setup for a shot. Um, previous year in FIFA 19, first touch shots were overpowered. Now, a bouncing pass towards your teammate, teammate, a lofted pass is overpowered. Because you've got a first touch, you can use it, shoot it directly 
and it goes in so so well much better than if you were to pass the ball on the ground to your teammate so remember lofted pass in front of penalty in front of the penalty box in the penalty box and then a direct shot results almost all the time in a goal last but not least we've got the driven shots uh, the combination to perform a driven shot is press and hold rb plus lb on your xbox one controller or r1 plus l1 on your playstation controller and press the shot button uh, they are not effective in my opinion at the far post they're unpredictable over there but they do work pretty pretty well if you do them from a central position at the near post as you are seeing in this first example i do a driven shot i load it at approximately three bars it goes in beautifully in this second example being a bit closer to the goal i do the same thing but i load less the power bar one thing that i didn't cover in this finishing tutorial was the time finishing uh, it is pretty hard now to hit the green it is more for pro players this feature but there are some tips and tricks that will help you hit that green make sure to smash the like button if you want to see a dedicated tutorial for time finishing for time shooting in fifa 20 this will be all for today guys thank you all for watching my name is ovi and i'll see you guys later